simplest one and work from there. So you have your lacrimal. Remember in the cat it was more towards the inside of the eye? This time it's out here. Your prefrontal is here. Frontal is here. And here. Your post-orbital, amazingly, is behind your eye. Parietal. It's back here. Supratemporal arch. It's right there. Superior temporal fossa would be the whole. This is your squamosal. The squamosal is a bone in this animal. It is its own bone. When you get to a mammal, it's a portion of a bone. But here, it's its own bone. Right here is the quadrate. All of this is quadrate. And since the nature of the jaw articulation in the lizard is quadrate articular, you can test that that's the quadrate by putting it together and seeing that that's what hits with your bottom jaw and forms the jaw articulation. And I'm pretty sure this is your pterygoid fossa, this hole. But I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to check with everybody else and let you guys know on Tuesday. This is your pterygoid. You guys all see that? Mm -hmm. You're just not sure because it's labeled? Because of how it's labeled, I can't see if it's this hole, or if it's this hole, or if it's that hole, or if it's that hole. Which one? It's some sort of hole. Pterygoid fossa. Which hole? Okay, and there's one in the packet, I think it's the only one, that's not labeled on here or in here, but it's described in your packet so you still have to know it. And that's this long bone that connects up and down right here. This bone right here. It doesn't curve, it's completely straight. That bone that you're pointing to is right back here. So you want to go about three spaces, like an inch in, and make a line that goes directly up right here. That's your epiterygoid. Stomach's growling. I'm hungry. <laughs> I've eaten today. Epiterygoid, E P I P T, and then spell the rest of pterygoid. Okay. Um, yeah. So that was the easy drawing.